Today we're going to take a quick look at the DF Robot Devastator tank platform. This is a small tank robot chassis that measures about 8 inches by 8 inches by about 4 inches tall and is great for Arduino and Rover robot projects. Let's take a closer look. The Devastator is a DIY kit and takes some assembly. All the parts are packed in clearly labeled bags which correspond with the instruction manual. They also provide all the tools you need to assemble the kit. The chassis is made up of four parts, the two wheel mounting plates which mount the wheels with independent spring-loaded suspensions on each non-driven wheel. The DC geared brushed motors mount to these plates and connect to the driver wheel using a metal coupling. The bottom plate joins the two wheel mounting plates and this is where your Arduino and the other components would be located. There's plenty of mounting and tie-down points on this plate. The top plate acts as a cover and also gives the chassis its rigidity. DF Robot also provides an on-off button and a DC connector jack with the kit and these mount on the top plate makes it easy to swap out batteries and talking about batteries the motors are 6 volt motors so you can run them on a 2s lipo and that should give it just enough power the top plate also has tons of mounting points and slots for servos cameras gripper arms and all kinds of sensors both on top and the front it has a dedicated sub micro servo mounting slot on top which is great for a sonar sensor pan or as a 360 degree camera pan mount the back is open and this is great if you want to snake in a USB cable to program the board. All the plates are made from aluminum and have the sleek looking anodized coating on them. The tracks are metallic and mate with the drive wheel really well. I wouldn't say it's for rough off-road use, but it's really good for indoor projects and outdoor projects on harder surfaces. So my overall thoughts about the DF Robot Devastator. The Devastator is a nicely designed compact robot that's great for Arduino or even APM projects. It has lots of mounting points, is pretty inexpensive and more than anything it just looks really cool. I've put a link to the chassis in the description below so feel free to check it out. If this video was useful please hit like and subscribe for more reviews. Thanks for watching!